Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm All Things Wrestling. Today I'm going to be giving my comments, opinions, and the results of WWE SmackDown 26 of July 2016. We start the show with Shane and Daniel Bryan in the back, and they're walking through the curtain to go out to the uh, ring. I like seeing the backstage area like this. I think it's a great way to give the fans a little insight. I like the new theme. Not as good as Raw's, but it's still good, and I do like the logo. But the raw one's growing on me. They're both good. Uh, one thing I did find weird throughout the show is the coming back from commercial. The, the new logo or theme's not there. It's still the old one. So hopefully they'll fix that problem next week. All uh, right. From the start, all the super the uh, wrestlers were around on the ring apron around the ring when Shane and Daniel were in the ring, which I like because it felt completely different to SmackDown to Raw. Um, Shane also confirmed the first SmackDown owned pay per view will be September the 11th and it will be called Backlash. Yes, Backlash is back and it will be a SmackDown pay per view. He also called the WWE Championship the Undisputed Championship. This isn't the only title controversy name that went on this show. At the end, it said World Champion at the end of the show, which is weird because. It's a WWE Championship. What's going on? I don't know. We'll solve this out. Uh, Shane said there's going to be a six-pack challenge for the number one contendership, and the match will consist of Cena, Bray Wyatt, Dolph Ziggler, Baron Corbin, AJ Styles, and a mystery person to be so to be crowned after winning a battle royale. And we have the battle royale. There's a new camera angle, which is kind of like crowd camera angle, which lo looks kind of cool. It was definitely shown in the first match i liked it apollo cruz wins that match it was an all right match battle royale what do you expect uh then we get a shelton benjamin promo shelton benjamin is coming back i cannot wait it's going to be good definitely intercontinental championship in his near future then we had a becky versus natalia match why are they doing this again good news is this match was about 300 million times better than their match at Battleground because there was no Italia, Natalia fighting and beating down a Becky par and then stuff like that. It was a proper match and then Becky got her in, got her in the disarmor and she tapped out. Nice thing. And then Alexa Bliss comes out, starts doing it. Don't know who Alexa Bliss is. She seems all right. Then Naomi comes back out, came out and then Carmella came out and then Eva freaking Marie. Came out. I hate Eva Marie. So there's all the women they have to offer. Which is great. Thanks for that. Then we have Miss TV. The Mrs. Guest on Miss TV was The Miz. I loved it. It was pure class. The Miz interviewing himself was so amazing. I was laughing through it. Then Randy Orton comes out and it was just a good back and forth between the two they had good chemistry in there I think uh, Randy did say the Miz is an expert in playing with himself oh that's a little bit too blatant for PG isn't it I liked it though thank god let's stop with this chill PG crap not a fan and then, we ha then they had a match Miz versus Randy uh Randy Orton looked like he'd hurt his shoulder when he went to the outside because he started slapping everything and just getting really annoyed. And then Randy Orton did an RKO to The Miz, kind of sat down, just kind of like took like a minute or two minutes. Miz was lying down for like two minutes. It kind of made the l made no sense. It was, yeah, an RKO out of nowhere, but two minutes lying down and then Randy Orton does an RKO and he gets a pin. It was an alright match. Then an American Alpha promo. Uh, J Jason Jordan and Chad Gable. Love that tag team from NXT. Uh, then Heath Slater comes out. He knocks somebody out of the ring. I don't even know who it was. I was half paying attention to that. Uh, then he says, I'm best free agent and stuff like that. And then Shane comes out and they have a thing. And then Rhino sneaks into the ring and gores him. It was beautiful. I'm a massive Rhino fan. Then we have the six pan pack match. Uh, it was alright. Not the best thing. 
felt a bit sloppy in places and just kind of like it was only two on twos most of the time. It was eh. Um, Dolph Ziggler won with a super kick, which was surprising. I was very, very, very surprised at that. But it was good. It was good. Um, and I found one spot where John Cena was struggling to put Baron Corbin on his shoulders to do the AA. Baron Corbin's like 280 pounds. He's lifted up people at Batista with ease before. Who's 300 plus pounds. He's picked up many people bigger and way more than Baron Corbin with less strain than he was doing there. The spot made no sense whatsoever from the point of view of John Cena. Made him look weak. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I really do think John Cena needs to stop being Super Cena. But there we go. It was actually a pretty good show. I enjoyed it. A couple of matches. It was just kind of a little bit less than more, I'd say. But I did enjoy it because it didn't feel like the same show repeating the same stuff. You had different stuff and it was nice, to be honest. It's a fresh change I'm liking at the minute. I'm loving WWE at the minute. Let's just see where we go from here. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Hear my opinions and comments and the results. And I'll catch you later.